We've got those figures of 74% productivity in the Lok Sabha during this winter session, which is a very, very low number. Let's take a look now at some of the other data. The number of members of parliament left in the upper house and the Lok Sabha after the biggest ever purge of members of parliament from both houses. Remember, a total of 146 MPs have been suspended in this winter session uh, so far. Well, since it's been adjourned, Sinodai, that's going to be the final number, 146. Uh, mass suspensions in the Rajya Sabha, a total of 245 MPs in the Rajya Sabha. NDA, 109 MPs, opposition, 95 MPs, others are 41 MPs. Uh, 46 of the opposition MPs have been suspended. So it's down by a factor of 50%. 95 opposition MPs, 46 have been suspended. Now let's look at the mass suspensions in the Lok Sabha. Total number of MPs is 543, even though that number is actually 522 following many resignations uh, uh, due to the state elections. The NDA has 353 MPs, that includes the BJP. The opposition, including the Congress, has 133. Others are 57. The number of suspended opposition MPs out of 133, 100 MPs have been suspended. That makes a total of 146 MPs. 100 in the Lok Sabha, 46 in the Raj Sabha who've been suspended. Here's a total figure of how many MPs have been suspended from both the houses. Like I said, 146 and counting, 100 in the Lok Sabha, 46 in the Raj Sabha for alleged unruly behaviour in the lower and the upper house. Uh, the Lok Sabha MPs, 100 MPs, uh, opposition MPs have been suspended, 46 have been suspended in the Raj Sabha. Now we've got some more breaking news coming in. Okay.